Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Finn gets Taylor's test results, April the lab tech's mistake? The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that the show lately had a rather strange hassle between Captain Deuce Stevens and April the lab tech. It may have paved the way for a big mistake and a major twist, so let's take a near look at what happened. In B&B's September 20th occasion, Deuce was nervous about his lab results, so he bugged April for them. April could only deliver the case's results straight to John Finn Finnegan, which led to Deuce learning there were two Dr. Finnegans at the sanitarium. Finn got Deuce's lab results, but April had some other results for Lee Finnegan that day as well. It feels like Deuce and April's scenes were a setup for a mishap involving both Finnegan croakers. That brings us to Taylor Hayes' heart failure updates for Lee and the help she's getting with her condition. Lee offered to run some tests and texted Taylor the names of some associates who specialize in cardiology. We want to concentrate on Lee running tests for a moment since that presumably means April will be back to deliver Taylor's lab results. Those results could fluently fall into the wrong Dr. Finnegan's hands soon enough. April got rather kittenish the last time she was around Finn, so perhaps she'll be detracted the coming time she makes a delivery to his office. It could lead to April accidentally giving Taylor's lab results to Finn rather of Lee. Of course, that could mean Finn will see for himself that Steffi Forrester's mama is dying. It would put Finn in an incredibly tight spot, especially if he confronts Lee about the blend up and learns Taylor doesn't want anyone to know. Finn's main aphorism is that he doesn't keep secrets from his woman. So what will he do if he lands in this tricky situation? Will Finn hide this grim news from Steffi or violate Taylor's sequestration and go against her wishes? The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Finn may end up with a tough decision to make, so we'll bring you prognostications on his forthcoming moves and how they'll affect Steffi. Is Taylor faking terminal heart condition to steal Ridge? The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Taylor Hayes lately delivered a curveball to Lee Finnegan, who was left reeling over the news of her heart failure. Taylor claims she's dying and that she's back to spend time with her family, but could there be more to the story? So far, Taylor's illness seems legal, but the show has still left some twitch room in case they want to back out of this story. For starters, it's a little suspicious that Taylor still hasn't seen a cardiologist yet. You'd suppose Taylor would have wanted to follow up on what she learned from her croaker. In Europe right down. Rather, Taylor is just now getting around to asking Lee for recommendations. It's true that Taylor has been emotional in private, but what if it's guilt that's before all the gashes? Could Taylor have a plot in stir to steal Ridge Forrester back from Brooke Logan after all? Taylor keeps acting like she's accepted that Ridge is with Brooke now, but perhaps she's just lullabying her rival into a false sense of security. It could be a situation where Taylor is pretending she's not after Ridge so that Brooke will let her guard down. Taylor is keeping her family out of the circle on her heart failure claims, but we know Ridge is going to find out at some point this fall. What if that ends up being part of Taylor's implicit plan as well? Taylor might want to spare her children the pain of knowing about any of this while she pulls Ridge closer, just in time for a offered misdiagnosis reveal or a fake phenomenon cure. Of course, it seems out of character for Taylor to deign this low for a Ridge reunion, but anything is possible. That's especially true if BMB shifts gears on this plot and opts to keep Taylor alive. The show did it ahead with Sally Spectra, who was on the road to a grim fate until the story changed. Sally's terminal illness suddenly came fake and part of a scheme to win Wyatt Spencer back. Could BNB pull off commodity analogous with Taylor? How would you feel if Taylor was faking her heart condition to steal Ridge? The bold and the beautiful spoilers say further Taylor-related surprises are brewing, so stick with us for other shocking prognostications and updates on what's ahead for her relationship with Ridge. The Forrester family continue to grow, two new additions coming soon. Steffi's Reservations Unnerve Taylor The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Tuesday, September 24, 2024, promise an emotional day for Taylor as she chooses to keep a big secret. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Taylor Hayes covers for herself. When Steffi Forrester Finnegan arrives home and sees Taylor Hayes out of feathers in her living room, she can tell Commodity is wrong with her mama and begs Taylor to tell her what's going on. 
since Taylor must have Eric Forrester syndrome, she can't allow her loved bones to know she's dying. She doesn't want their pity and wants her life to end on her own terms. Taylor formerly swore Lee Finnegan to secretiveness, making her the R.J. Forrester of this time's I'm dying and won't tell my kitties story. As Taylor puts on a happy face, Steffi tries to believe that her mama is telling the verity, but commodity keeps pecking at her. Taylor arrived back in Los Angeles like a changed woman who didn't indeed want Rich Forrester presently. That makes no sense to Steffi. Her mama always wants Ridge and Steffi is still determined to see her parents together again. BMB spoilers, further Taylor Hayes talk when Brooke Logan and Ridge sit down for a converse, the only thing they can talk about is Taylor. Ridge tells Brooke each about the pledge he made Steffi about her mama and Brooke tells Ridge each about her last discussion with Taylor. Brooke truly believes that Taylor has accepted that Ridge and Brooke will be together and gives them her blessing. Brooke also hopes that she and Taylor can renew the fellowship they started in 2022 now that Taylor isn't after Ridge presently. Little do either of them know that Taylor is suffering from heart failure and dying. Taylor wants to make peace with everyone, so she won't be against calling Taylor her BFF again. But, will this turn into Eric's story with John Finn Finnegan chancing a phenomenon cure at the last nanosecond? That would truly feel like a case of deja vu. Tune into all new occurrences of The Bold and The Beautiful Weekdays on CBS to see how these stories play out. Who's the real problem in Steffi's marriage, hope, or mixed communication fin? The Bold and The Beautiful spoilers and rumors pose the question, who's the real problem in Steffi Forrester's marriage? Is it coitus addicted Hope Logan or mixed communication John Finn Finnegan? The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Steffi Forrester just laid down a stern ultimatum Steffi has just set some firm boundaries with hope regarding her relationship with Finn, but she might want to be conservative about another implicit trouble. Observant suckers have picked up on the fact that the real peril to her marriage might not be who she thinks. While Brooke Logan made her way to Finn's office in a recent occasion, she's constantly advised hope behind unrestricted doors that she mustn't develop passions for Steffi's hubby. Steffi's claim could boomerang in unanticipated ways, in the realm of cleaner operas, when you tell someone they can't have someone, it frequently makes them desire that person indeed more. This rearmost strategy from Steffi might inadvertently bring Finn and Hope closer together rather. B&B spoilers, Finn Finnegan and Hope Logan are constantly in each other's route anyway. Finn and Hope have a knack for crossing paths, putatively drawn to each other without any external influence whatsoever, other than being step-siblings. That makes the idea of Hope or Hin indeed more repulsive in the eyes of some, although they weren't raised as family and family. This pattern continued when Hope, frustrated after yet another argument with her mama regarding Steffi's hubby, stormed out of the office and suddenly collided with Finn at I.L. Giardino. Finn was quick to mention that he'd checked in advance to ensure Sheila Sharp wasn't on duty that day, demonstrating his commitment to recognizing Steffi's request to avoid his birth mama. Still, it appeared he'd excessively forgotten about the need to keep his distance from hope, as demanded by his woman. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, clear as slush? In the same way it takes two to distraction, a uh, tango, it takes two to avoid mixed communication situations, the receiver and the generator. Finn seems to be the king of mixed dispatches to hope, but he no way takes responsibility to clear them up unless forced to. At I.L. Giardino, Finn not only ate Hope, but also made in trouble to draw her into a meaningful discussion. Hope, still reeling from the claim that jeopardized her fashion line, bluntly suggested that it would be better for them to avoid each other. Yet, that didn't feel to register with him at all, he continued to sputter down, which would have been confusing for anyone, considering the circumstances. B&B spoilers, is Finn Finnegan just stupid, or does he like to flirt and lead women on? There he was, acting all friendly Finn was no longer worried with hope and was back to the same actions he and Steffi had bandied as issues playing interceder and being too nice. To make effects worse, indeed though he knew hope liked him, Finn praised her as a strong, successful, and beautiful woman it feels like he's leading her on. He can't claim ignorance since Steffi made it veritably clear to him, he promised he wouldn't be foolish again, yet there he was at I.L. Giardino. Finn could have just said a simple welcome to Hope and moved on, but he didn't, as soon as he left, Hope started craving for him again, flashing back their close moments. Is Finn just stupid, or does he like to flirt and lead women on?